This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I disable the IMM viewer? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple sphere here loaded in. Now the sphere is a poly mesh, and if I go to the geometry tab here, you can see that it has no subdivisions active. So the question is asking about disabling the IMM viewer, which is a new feature that was added in ZBrush 4R8. As an example of what the IMM viewer is, if I just navigate over here to the brush palette and open this up, and then just select an IMM brush, like the IMM model kit brush here. After I select this brush, you'll notice at the top here, there's this IMM viewer bar, which is now visible. Now the IMM viewer bar will allow you to come through and quickly select IMM parts. So if I come through and just grab a piece here, then I can come across my mesh and click and drag, and it will apply that part. So you can use this to cycle through different IMM parts instead of pressing the M hotkey on your keyboard. So the M hotkey still works, so you can always just use that as well to select the different IMM parts in the brush and draw those out, or you can use this IMM viewer bar here at the top. So the question is asking about disabling this. So let's say that you don't want this to pop up every time you select an IMM brush. So how can I disable this function? So if we navigate up here to our preferences panel and open this up, and then if we go to the interface area here, in here there is an IMM viewer area. And if you expand this, you'll see you have a placement slider and then an auto show and hide button. Now the placement slider will allow you to manipulate where this IMM viewer bar shows up. So at a placement of one, it's gonna be at the top of the screen here. If I change it to two, you're gonna notice that it's now going to place that IMM viewer bar to the right of your canvas. If I go to three, it's gonna place it at the bottom of the canvas. And if I go to four, it's gonna place it on the left side of the canvas. So if you still like using the IMM viewer bar, but maybe you just don't want it at the top of the screen, you can change this placement option here, and that will tailor where that IMM viewer bar will be displayed. Now, in addition to that, if you just want to totally remove the IMM viewer bar, you can just turn off this auto show hide. Now, when this is toggled off, that IMM viewer bar is now going to disappear. So if you select any IMM brushes, you'll notice that bar is no longer gonna pop up at the top of your screen. Now, if you have disabled this bar or changed the placement, you wanna make sure that you store the config so the next time that you start ZBrush, that these settings will be remembered. So after you have these settings changed, you just need to go back to this preferences menu here. You need to go up to the config area and open that up and then simply click store config. Now after you have the config stored, the next time you start ZBrush, those preferences for the IMM viewer will be remembered. And when you select an IMM brush, it will not open up. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.